welcome to another 41 designs video I'm going to share the very first of my um, wedding collection I just um, completed this one have the other ones kind of started and we'll be listing them soon but this is my very first um, finished wedding journal <laughs> so I really really um, just have enjoyed working with this like muted um, calming kind of color um, it's it's all about love on, on this journal so I don't know if you can with the lighting uh, nothing fancy just love and um, I really have enjoyed working uh, with these colors so I'm, I'm working on a, a whole collection and I hope you guys like it if you and it doesn't necessarily have to be a wedding journal per se it, it could definitely be just a love journal something that you use to um, kind of you know um, capture some of your happy memories with your love and um, and I think the the color being so neutral I think it lends itself to pretty much anything any kind of love so on the on the cover I actually stitched um, the one the single signature like I, I do on most of my journals I stitched it but then I, I embellished the spine with this just gorgeous um, trim you see kind of wraps around it's a little different um, on the on this edge and the paper is just like that fun um, heart design on there and I, I added the the gold clip which I, I love that clip um, and then just created a charm very delicate with um, the, the wrapped pearls and then the glass beads and you see this pretty one here um, and then I added kind of layered the cover so you have the of course the my signature kind of butterfly <laughs> I love butterflies. so that you'll see them a lot in my work and then I, I kind of raised I don't know if you can kind of make that out there I kind of raised this oval piece and then behind it I tucked away some um, it looks like rhinestone trim um, and then just a few more layers of scrapbook paper and of course the title but I think it's just very delicate very beautiful and of course you have the closure my metal closure which I always add little beads to and well most of them <laughs> most of the time and um, let's go inside so I can show you some more of, of the journal so I'm actually going to use this to kind of hold it in place because the charm keeps making it pop up um, so on the inside cover, nice, nice big pocket, a couple of hearts, and then um, just some journaling um, cards. And then this one would be really pretty for you to embellish some of the um, more simple pages. And, and that's why I like including these. And these were actually from the paper pack that I used throughout the journal, which I think is, is um, just perfect because all the colors will automatically um, go so well together so you'll see very um, very kind of pale pink gray um, and of course the white with um, with the cream but um, I think you'll see that it just all blends so beautifully so on this side um, you have like a, a white envelope that I created um, kind of like a space for you to tuck stuff in and I added more of those cards from the journal pack so you can journal on there and then of course that gorgeous glittered um, embellishment and then one more of the cards from the paper pack and then created a pocket with this um, message best day ever hopefully um, this will be filled with so many beautiful memories from your special day so a nice big tag, I added some ribbon and some baker's twine just to add a little um, texture to the tag. And then another one of those uh, beautiful little hearts. And this one is, I th oh I think this one goes on this side. I, it must have fallen out. Okay, so then on um, this is just the, the vintage music sheet. So you can definitely add some pictures on. And then these beautiful cards from the, the paper pack. 
which are just very fitting. And then I added to this um, plain white um, page, kind of like the, the wraparound, um, um, what do I call these? Like journaling wraps or something? <laughs> I told you, I, every, every video I call it something else. I don't know. I don't know what these are, but they're fun. <laughs> and you can journal on. And then um, there's a really pretty kind of lace sticker that I've used. Um, I only had a very few of these. And they have almost like a, like a flocked texture to them. And they're so, they're so pretty. So I'll actually take this and put it here. Okay, so um, on this page I have... Uh, very kind of neutral lined scrapbook paper and then I added this one says let's celebrate and then um, added like a little tuck spot there with the XOXO hugs and kisses and we come over to this page nice big pocket a little more of that beautiful um, sticker that um, looks like a ribbon and then you are my favorite. And look how pretty, because these lines are kind of in that silver, um, kind of embossed um, look. It's so pretty. And then this, of course, says it all. So, and then uh, paper doily, and then just some journaling uh, paper. So you can definitely um, journal all of the, the happy memories on that. And then on this side, you have another big pocket, more of that beautiful paper, and it is well with my heart, a little card, and then this one that says notes. So the idea with, with um, using or including these, like I said before, is that you can um, take a, a page that's maybe a little simple, and then you can add these to it, and then maybe add a picture or journal um, under it so I included quite a bit because the paper pack was just was just loaded with these little cards so I thought these were perfect for a wedding journal so I'm going to let me see which one I'll leave out I'll leave this one out and that's the beauty of of the like the the flow of these journals that you get to really kind of um, make it yours so another gorgeous glittered um, butterfly on this end. And then here's another um, plain uh, paper, but then I wrapped it with this gorgeous scrapbook paper. So you can then add a picture here, and then um, with, the, with the little card, you can definitely make it pop with that. And then on this page, that's the vintage music sheet. There's a pocket behind this white envelope, or white little bag, I should say. And then I added a few more of these, and these would be great to use kind of as layers to your pictures, just to give it um, a little dimension. And then I created almost like a little bookmark, so you can maybe mark where you're at in your journal. And some more of that really pretty white, um, it's kind of like a cream ribbon with some baker's twine. And then I just stamped a simple little flower because I, that, that's kind of like, I think the theme throughout the journals is just like that simplicity. There's a nice big pocket on this page and more of that um, heart design um, scrapbook paper. And this is, this is actually like cardstock. Then on this page, um, behind the beautiful glittered flower is, is a little tuck spot and the, the really pretty card. Make great things happen. And you can see how you could tuck stuff um, behind there. This would be great for maybe some of the invitations, maybe some of the cards um, and special um, stuff that you get like during planning for the wedding or after the wedding or during the wedding and then a lot of these cards would be great to add small pictures and then maybe journal a little bit behind the cards of who the person you know 
and the pictures are, and these will be great uh, keepsakes for for you and, and, and your and your family to always remember that special day. So this gorgeous um, scrapbook paper on the other side of, of the white bag, and then uh, paper doily, and then on the back cover, nice big pocket, more of that beautiful ribbon um, sticker, and then nice big tag for um, for journaling, and then see the details on the on the cards that I just love that. So pretty. That goes there, and then um, you could definitely um, add another picture and journal on there. Oop, forgot was clicked on there. And um, even though I added a lot of cards and the and the elements for you to to personalize it, I think that there's still so much room and so much opportunity for you to 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 capture all your your beautiful memories of your special love because <laughs> like i said it doesn't necessarily have to be a wedding um that's sort of like what i envisioned but <laughs> i think for any any kind of love journal it would be really really perfect um so i i will share once i i get the other journals from this collection done. I will share them. I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait to um, to share this one with you. And I hope that if it's something that you guys think would um, you would like to see more of, maybe like a wedding uh, themed um, products, then let me know if there's or if there's any kind of holiday that you're thinking or event that you're thinking that would be a good idea for a journal. Um, please comment and let me know because sometimes I, I mean, I, I make what I, what I like and what I, um, I think people would respond to, but sometimes I could, you know, there could be great ideas that you guys can share with me and, and then I could implement them into, um, my journals and some of my future products. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, um, I would love uh, some thumbs up. If you want to see more of my journals, um, including more of my wedding collection, then definitely subscribe so you can get notified when the when the um, videos are uploaded. And I will, like always, link to all of my social media accounts and my Etsy shop if you are interested in picking this up. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.